Welcome to our channel. Today we're diving into the world of paleontology to explore the fascinating discovery of the Duonicus dinosaur. In the grand tapestry of prehistoric life, discoveries are constantly reshaping our understanding of the past. Join us now as we journey back millions of years, uncovering the secrets of this unique creature. Our story begins in the heart of the Gobi Desert, a place of stark beauty and harsh conditions. This vast expanse of sand and stone holds within its depths the fossilized remnants of a lost world, a world that existed millions of years ago. It was here in the year 2012 that a team of dedicated paleontologists unearthed a collection of bones, unlike anything they had encountered before. These bones were not just any fossils, they were a window into a prehistoric era. The fossils, carefully extracted from the earth with meticulous precision, hinted at a creature both familiar and strange. A dinosaur, yes, but one with unique adaptations that set it apart from its kin. Each bone told a story, a piece of a puzzle that scientists were eager to solve. These were the remains of Duonicus Soctbatari, a name that would soon echo through the halls of paleontological discovery. This dinosaur, with its distinctive features, would become a key to understanding the diversity and evolution of prehistoric life. The very ground on which we tread today was once home to this extraordinary animal. Imagine walking in the footsteps of giants, where every grain of sand has a story to tell. Imagine, if you will, a world where the continents were fused together, forming a single gigantic landmass known as Pangaea. This supercontinent was a place of incredible biodiversity and dynamic ecosystems. The climate was warmer then, and lush vegetation carpeted the earth. Dense forests and sprawling plains provided a rich habitat for a variety of life forms, from the smallest insects to the largest dinosaurs. It was in this environment that Duonicus thrived, its massive form casting an imposing shadow upon the landscape. This dinosaur was a formidable predator, perfectly adapted to its surroundings. From the fragments of bone, scientists began to piece together the story of this ancient giant. Each fossil was a clue, a piece of evidence that helped to reconstruct the life and times of Duonicus Sokvatari. This story would challenge our understanding of dinosaur evolution and open new doors to the mysteries of the past. The most striking feature of Duonicus, the one that immediately sets it apart from other dinosaurs, is its claws. These claws are not just any ordinary appendages, they are the defining characteristic of this fascinating creature. Two massive curved claws adorn its forelimbs, each one resembling the hooked appendage of a giant sloth. These claws are not only impressive in size but also in their unique shape and structure. These claws, which give Duonicus its name, two claws were formidable tools, perfectly adapted for a very specific purpose. They were not just for show, they played a crucial role in the daily life of this dinosaur. Unlike the sharp, talon-like claws of predatory dinosaurs, Duonicus's claws were more robust, designed for strength rather than speed. This robustness indicates a different lifestyle and set of behaviors compared to its more aggressive relatives. They were not weapons of attack, but rather instruments of survival, allowing this gentle giant to navigate its environment and procure the sustenance it needed. These claws were essential for its day-to-day -day activities, from feeding to moving through dense vegetation. Picture Duonicus using its powerful claws to grasp branches, pulling them towards its mouth to strip away leaves and fruit. This behavior would have been a common sight in its natural habitat, showcasing the versatility and strength of its claws. The sheer size and strength of these claws would have enabled Duonicus to access vegetation that was out of reach for other herbivores, giving it a distinct advantage in the prehistoric ecosystem. This ability to reach higher food sources would have been crucial for its survival, especially in times of scarcity. These claws, so perfectly preserved in the fossil record, provide us with a tantalizing glimpse into the life and behavior of this remarkable dinosaur. The fossilized remains allow scientists to study and understand the unique adaptations that made Duonicus such a successful species in its time. Through these ancient relics, we can piece together the story of how Duonicus lived, thrived, and interacted with its environment, painting a vivid picture of a world long gone but not forgotten. Chapter 3 Duonicus belongs to a fascinating group of dinosaurs known as Therizinosaurs, a name that translates to scythe lizards. This name, while evocative, is somewhat misleading as these creatures were far from the fearsome predators it might suggest. Instead, 
Therizinosaurs were primarily herbivores, with long necks and small heads adapted for browsing on vegetation. Their diet consisted mainly of plants, which they could reach with their elongated necks. Therizinosaurs, like Duonicus, were an enigmatic group bearing a mosaic of features that seemed to blend characteristics of different dinosaur lineages. Their long arms, tipped with those distinctive claws, set them apart from other herbivores. These claws, which could grow up to a meter in length, were likely used for foraging and defense. Their wide hips and short tails gave them a rather ungainly appearance, but these features were well suited to their lifestyle. Duonicus, with its unique combination of features, helps to shed light on this enigmatic branch of the dinosaur family tree. Its discovery adds another piece to the puzzle, allowing paleontologists to better understand the evolutionary relationships between different dinosaur groups. The study of Therizinosaurs, like Duonicus, reminds us that the world of dinosaurs was far more diverse and complex than we often imagine. These creatures, with their unique adaptations, challenge our perceptions of what dinosaurs were like. The Rhizinosaurs were not just another group of plant-eating dinosaurs, they were a testament to the incredible diversity of life that once roamed our planet. The more we study these fascinating creatures, the more we learn about the intricate web of life that existed millions of years ago. Each new discovery like that of Duonicus provides valuable insights into the past, helping us piece together the story of Earth's ancient inhabitants. As we continue to unearth and study these ancient fossils, we gain a deeper appreciation for the complexity and diversity of the dinosaur world. The evolutionary tree of dinosaurs is vast and intricate, and Therizinosaurs occupy a unique branch on this tree. Their study not only enhances our understanding of dinosaur evolution but also sheds light on the broader patterns of life on Earth. The story of Therizinosaurs is a reminder of the ever-evolving nature of scientific discovery. With each new find, we are reminded of the vastness of our planet's history and the many secrets it still holds. The world of dinosaurs with its myriad forms and adaptations continues to captivate and inspire us, revealing the endless possibilities of evolution and the wonders of the natural world. Chapter 4 In a world dominated by giants, Duonicus stood out, not for its ferocity, but for its gentle nature. This was a herbivore, its massive bulk sustained not by flesh and bone, but by the bounty of the prehistoric forests. Imagine Duonicus lumbering through the undergrowth, its long neck reaching up to nibble on leaves high in the canopy. Its sharp beak, a tool for stripping vegetation, would have made short work of even the toughest branches. And those formidable claws, so often mistaken for weapons, played a crucial role in its feeding strategy. They were not designed for tearing flesh, but for grasping and manipulating vegetation, pulling branches closer and stripping leaves with ease. Duonicus's diet, while seemingly mundane compared to the carnivorous habits of its theropod cousins, is a testament to the power of adaptation. It demonstrates the remarkable diversity of dinosaur feeding strategies and highlights the important role herbivores played in ancient ecosystems. Chapter 5 the discovery of Duonicus is more than just the unearthing of another fossil. It's a window into a lost world, a glimpse into the incredible diversity of life that once flourished on our planet. Each bone, each tooth, each claw tells a story, a story of adaptation, survival, and ultimately, extinction. Duonicus, with its unique blend of features, challenges our preconceived notions about dinosaurs. It reminds us that the prehistoric world was not a static diorama populated by stereotypical monsters, but a dynamic and ever-changing arena where life found a way to thrive in countless forms. The study of fossils like Duonicus allows us to piece together the intricate web of life that once existed, to understand the complex relationships between predator and prey, and to appreciate the delicate balance of ecosystems long gone. Duonicus's legacy extends beyond its bones, it serves as a reminder of the vastness of geological time and the incredible journey life on Earth has taken. Outro thanks for watching! If you enjoyed learning about the Duonicus dinosaur, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more fascinating paleontology discoveries. The world of paleontology is full of wonder and mystery, and we're excited to share more incredible finds with you in the future. Until then, keep exploring, keep asking questions, and keep marveling at the wonders of our planet's past. See you next time.